The top story today. After remdesivir and medical oxygen, SOSs are now being heard for amphotericin B, the drug that treats mucormycosis, the rare fungal disease hitting patients recovering from the coronavirus. Over 8,800 cases of this deadly infection have been detected in India so far, and states have begun treating this as a notifiable disease. Notifiable disease means the center has to be mandatorily informed about any case that is detected, as is the case for TB, cholera and diphtheria, for example. Ironically, the black fungus cases have been brought on primarily by the misuse of one of the proven therapies that help severe COVID patients escape death, steroids. Mucormycosis, dubbed black fungus, declared as a notified disease under the Epidemic Diseases Act by many states, is the new cause of concern. As several thousand COVID patients across India have been infected with this deadly and aggressive fungal infection. India accounts for 71% of the total black fungus cases worldwide. The reason why it's being reported more in India, I think, is multifactorial. One is that we continue to be the diabetic capital of the world. So we have a large number of people who have underlying diabetes and many of them have a very poor control of diabetes because um, of multiple reasons. Secondly, we know that COVID-19 itself uh, causes a high chance of this fungal infection because it decreases your lymphocyte count. And therefore, people who have COVID-19 are more prone to getting this fungal infection. And the third important reason is the uh, the off-label or over-the-counter use of steroids. 8,848 patients have been infected with the black fungus across the country. Gujarat tops the list with 2,281 mucormycosis cases. Maharashtra has 2,000 patients fighting this rare fungal infection. Andhra Pradesh has reported 910 cases of mucormycosis. Wohi diabetes acha well controlled hai or COVID hoga to sambal jayega. Black fungus bini hoga or morbidity bhi, mortality bhi kam ho jayegi. Well controlled. Wohi uncontrolled hai agar to nuksan ho sakta hai. Unfortunately, while there is a rapid rise in black fungus cases reported across India, this is matched with a reported acute shortage of liposomal amphotericin B, the medicine prescribed for the treatment of this deadly fungal infection. Usse sambandit amphotericin B, jo ki ek antifungal drug hai, jo desh mein limited supply mein shuru mein available thi, usko badhaya ja raha hai, jiske liye do tarikhe se effort kiye ja raha hai ki kaise hum supply ko badhaye aur kaise uski availability ko aur further badhana ke kaam kare. Jiske tahat, paanch additional manufacturers ko देश में लाइसेंस दिलवाने का कार्य मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फार्मा मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ कोऑर्डिनेशन से कर रही है द सेंटर नाउ सेज स्टेप्स हैव बीन टेकन टू इंक्रीज द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द एंटीफंगल ड्रग 23 आउट ऑफ 36 स्टेट्स एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज हैव रिपोर्टेड ब्लैक फंगस केसेस दो इट इज नॉट कंटेजियस हेल्थ एक्सपर्ट्स से मिसयूज ऑफ स्टेरॉइड्स रिजल्टिंग इन दिस डेडली फंगल इंफेक्शन विद कैमरा पर्सन मनु नायर दिस इज अरविंद गुणसेकर फॉर एनडी टीवी and Gujarat has now reported the first case of black fungus in a 16-year-old teen. A 16-year-old in Ahmedabad has become the first case of pediatric mucomycosis in India. This boy was discharged from the hospital after successfully recovering from the COVID-19 disease in April, but he was later diagnosed with mucomycosis. Gujarat is the epicenter of this rare fungal disease that affects COVID-19 patients. So nearly 9,000 cases of the black fungus in India is the mucormycosis, the latest front India has to fight on in this war against the spread of the coronavirus. And are we going to be caught unawares again? Joining us now on the show, Dr. Keyur Gavadia, 
ENT surgeon at the Trisha Multi Speciality Hospital in Ahmedabad, the ENT surgeon who operated on that 16 year old patient. Thank you for your time, doctors. Dr. Ajay Swaroop, chairman of the Department of ENT and the secretary, uh, secretary and treasurer of the Sir Gangaram Hospital from the national capital and from Maharashtra, the state with the second largest number of black fungus cases. We have Dr. Sandeep Gore, Director of Emergency Medicine at the Fortis Hospitals in Mumbai. First, Dr. Kayur Gavadia, to you, how is your patient doing, this young 16-year-old? Uh, he has operated uh, uh, and he is doing very well. After uh, 12 days, his MRI and all the shows are uh, well recovery. He has presented with me with uh, right side tooth pain and facial pain and he has diagnosed early. So mm. he has affected only one maxillary sinus and upper alveolus. So now uh, I have removed the upper part of his teeth and uh, means upper alveolus and uh, maxillary sinus and uh, now he is very well. He is on amphotericin B for uh, 12 days. And uh, now uh, we are going to switch over to oral posaconazole. Uh, so uh, he's uh, doing very well. We're glad he's to hear that. 16 years old, young patient. 16 years old, young patient. The first uh, pediatric case uh, of this uh, fungal, rare fungal uh, infection. And as you say, doctor, this was, uh, we have a positive outcome because this was detected early. Dr. Sandeep Gore, initially we were reporting that children aren't at risk. Has that changed now? Uh, he, uh, he is uh, hyperglycemic for a transient period of time. Hmm. He has COVID before uh, 20 days. Yes, doctor. And uh, uh, he has uh, only uh, uh, means uh, diabetes for a while. Now he is not diabetic, but uh, because of COVID and uh, diabetes, he suffered from uh, mucormycosis. Yes, that's what they're saying. Uh, it tends to affect those who have uh, over 40 who are diabetic. But uh, doctors, I was asking you, uh, initially we thought uh, children aren't likely to be affected because you hear, don't hear of that many children having firstly se severe COVID uh, using steroids and being diabetic. Has that changed? Yes, yes. Uh, nowadays, uh, many... Sorry, let me, let me go across to Dr. Sandeep. Dr. Sandeep? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yes, I think that, that question was for me. Uh, initially, I would like to say that this uh, no age group was immune for this COVID. Means COVID can occur in all age group and uh, children were never immune for this thing. They have infection, but it's uh, of less severity. But those children who are obese children and uh, obesity is one of the uh, reason for the uh, low immune response or diabetes in pediatric uh, age group. And then these uh, patients may uh, affect due to the COVID infection. And uh, we can see this, this steroid is very uh, much used in this COVID treatment. Of course, steroid is the only drug which has proven to save life. But when it is used at the right time, but rampant use of steroid, we see that steroid has been used means there is no protocol based care in our country and steroid uh, is being used from day one for many patients. And that causes the increased blood sugar level. And that increased blood sugar level and uh, uncontrolled blood sugar level attracting this uh, type of uh, uh, muc mucormycosis in the uh, uh, naso cerebral mucormycosis we can say or fungal mucormycosis we can say. So uh, the point is that children were never immune for these things and uh, now the it has spread in a bigger sense and this uh, uh, mutant is varied so we can see cases in children also. So, it's inappropriate use of steroids that is uh, is the cause yeah. for the black fungus. So, whether it happens if it's inappropriately used in a child or an adult, you could then yes, get sir. the uh, black fungus, which again, as a doctor says, a treatable disease if diagnosed on time and I'm guessing if treated on time. But in the last week, uh, reminiscent of the oxygen and remdesivir uh, scarcities, we're seeing social media platforms now ca carrying requests for this black fungus drug. Demand is hitting the sky. We have unscrupulous operators uh, reportedly hoarding this drug or selling it at much higher prices. Dr. Ajay Swaroop, the Delhi government has today said that it is regulating the sale of amphotericin B and other COVID drugs to prevent hoarding. How are city hospitals doing? Are they struggling to still procure it? 
Oh yes, definitely we are struggling. Uh, there is a committee which has been made uh, and we have to upload every day the number of patients that we have who require amphotericin B. Then they scrutinize it. And uh, to date, we get, if we ask for uh, 30 patients, then we get for about six to seven patients. And this drug, unfortunately, has to be used over a period of seven to 10 days. And it has to be continued continuously. There is no question of giving on one day and then giving a gap for two days and then waiting for the supply. So there is a problem, I hope. Uh, the availability improves because the number of patients for the time being are improve, are increasing mm. uh, like wildfire. And we don't want to be caught unawares like we were when it came to the supply of medical oxygen. But doctor, um, so you say this medicine has to be given for seven days and there can be no break, right? How many doses yeah. has to be given? Because the center today says it has allocated 23,680 more amphotericin vials. What does that really mean on the ground given the number of states that we're seeing reporting this? Uh, that would depend on how many doses each patient needs. Well, the standard dose of amphotericin B is 5 to 10 milligrams per kilogram body weight. So if we go by standard, and one ampule contains 50 milligrams. So on an average, about five to six ampules per day per patient is the requirement. Five to six ampules per day per patient. So take a look at the graphics on your screen. It shows you the split up of the states that are reporting the largest number of cases and um, uh, how many vials each state would get. The maximum number of vials going to Gujarat and Maharashtra, both about 5,000 each. So lastly, um, Dr. Swaroop, uh, Dr. Ajay Swaroop, uh, I want to just go across you for the last 30 seconds. What, uh, what, for anyone who's watching, what is the most important thing they need to know about detecting uh, the black fungus? Because all of you doctors are saying early detection and early treatment is key. Well, anybody who has recovered from COVID within two to four weeks, he or she, if he develops a abnormal nasal discharge, which means not the usual white one, which allergy patients have, is it dark colored, maybe blood stain. If he develops swelling unilateral in and around the nose on the cheekbone, mm. if there is swelling around the eyes, periorbital edema, or if there is a loosening of tooth, or if there is any darkening of the palate that is inside the throat, if there is unexplained severe headache or nasal uh, eye congestion, he should rush to the nearest specialist who will then examine and then if required, do a nasal endoscopy, take a swab, get it checked for fungus and if positive, will start the appropriate therapy. We want Gosh. to catch the disease in the nose and not beyond it. That is the dictum. Gosh, it never seems to end. Thank you all doctors. You've been working for over a year now on this. We thank you for your time. We thank you for your service. Thank you.